Hey there, I'm gonna quickly show you how to add a colored overlay on top of a background image in Squarespace 7.1. Here we go. So let's jump, I'm in my page, I'm in my page editor, I'm gonna edit the section that I want. Background, go to video. And here's a quick thing first, if you didn't know, you can add, this is a new, new update to the Squarespace platform. You can add a uh, overlay opacity to any images just right in this background editor. It's super helpful. You'll see down here overlay opacity. I have another image uh, or another video that talks about this uh, if you want, but super simple. But don't want to do that. So we're going to go to video. I already have my, my link in there, so it should populate right here. So let's just hit save. So now that that is in, I'm going to go to grab the code from my website copy that, put that into the custom CSS area of my website, paste that in. Now you'll see change this text. This is what I need to change. I need to grab that as the data section ID of this section. So I'm going to make this big, pull up my editor here, look at and find the section here. So I'm on my section, data section ID, that's what I'm looking for. Copy that whole thing, exit out, pull it down, and then I'll just put it over the entire thing there. And there we go. So now I've got an overlay on top of it. If you want to change the color, it's this background color here. Uh, I would I would recommend doing it in the HSLA format. A stands for alpha, which is how transparent you want it to be. If I did 0.1, that would be 10%. If I did 0.9, that'd be 90%. Uh, you'll see zero hue, saturation, lightness, so it's going to be all black, but if you wanted to change this, maybe let's do like 70. It's going to change the color of it a little bit if we pull the saturation all the way up uh, and the lightness up a little bit. That's something else we need to do. There we go. So there's all blue. Um, so you can play around with this if you want. That's how you change the color around. So hope that helps. Let me know if you do this on your website. I'd love to see. Also sign up for my newsletter if you want to learn more tips and tricks like this. Take it easy.